lots of residents and our partners and our elected members. We've got over 50 stalls here today and um, some are provided by community members, some by local organisations and our local partners. So we've got things like the Stagecoach and Arriva buses, we've got lots of community stalls who some are selling gifts and crafts, some have made cakes and trying to do a bit of fundraising. We've got lots of children's activities, we've got um, the pony trap and ponies here. Um, our main attraction this year is the Witchers Dog Display Team, which will be on shortly in the main arena. We've got lots of face painting, we've got all the inflatables, and we've got the Pan of Football cage. Our theme this year is World War I because it's the itinerary of the World War. The theme for the day has meant that what we've tried to ask people to do is dress up their stalls. So lots of stalls have got venting, they've got poppies. We've obviously had the parade, which the children have been involved in this year. We are the Cheshire Pals, and we are a group of reenactors from the Chester area who have known each other for many years. And we got together last year to form a group called the Cheshire Home Guard, which represents the men left behind in Cheshire during the World War II. Uh, knowing, of course, that the centenary was coming, we've also been looking at forming a group aimed at representing the soldiers of the Cheshire Regiment in World War I. Living history is fantastic. It's, it's seeing what they ate, what they smelt, what the music was like that they listened to, what the clothing felt like. So we, we had a great interest in just really trying to bring home a message of who the people were 100 years ago. During the period 14 to 18, 37 million died or were wounded. Probably the biggest casualties during that period were two million Russians who were killed. And to put it in perspective, there were about 100,000 Americans killed, but we lost nearly a million British We got involved with Blaken Festival um, through the Chester Military Museum, who basically, we have a, a display here today from them, and we want to stay local, we want to try and actually represent Chester, not just to disappear off into the big displays that are going on. Um, and we're a local regiment, we're a local society, and we want to attract and interest local people. I've been head teacher at Deep Point for 10 years and we've been really working on the festival since I've been here. To be honest, every year we organise the parade. I think the parade's a really good way of opening the festival. It's great where we come through, march through the streets. Sometimes we have families coming out onto the road, into their gardens, seeing all the children, um, waving to um, family that are following the parade through. Blaken's uh, a very special place. The residents have got a great sense of community spirit. They have a great deal of ambition. They have a great sense of belonging to Blaken. And today, uh, the festival is a celebration of all the volunteers and the organisations that work uh, all year round to make Blaken such a special place. The festival itself is a brilliant opportunity for uh, the community to come together. It seems to get bigger and better every year. Blaken Festival is in its 21st year this year, which is quite a celebration in itself. It's a great day for people, a family fun day, where we ask people to come down and participate, find out a bit more about all the things that go on in Blaken. So it's an opportunity for us all to celebrate all the things that go on all year round. We normally try and engage the children with a theme that they, they're motivated by. This year we've looked at the centenary of, the, of World War I, so the children have been parading with poppies and again we've linked that through to some of the learning in school. So the children are really engaged and motivated by what they're doing. 
I think we try and really outwardly get involved with the local community. We want to work closely with parents, but also beyond that as well, with other members of the community as well. So we're here today to promote some of the work that we're doing at Avenue Services um, and to also make the community aware of the, of the work we're doing, the services that we offer. So a really important part of Avenue Services is the neighbourhood work and community investment work that we do. At the moment the parade is on programme for being completed with the new redevelopment and then we've got the social enterprise and community centre being developed and the impact on that going forward is that Avenue Services can actually move when we're moving into the new centre but we've also got some social enterprise units, some hubs that we can support local people into developing their own small to medium businesses within the area. So the impact on Blake will just be fantastic. There's a huge investment, it's over £18 million that's been invested into the parade redevelopment, but it will also encourage others to come into the area and reinvest so that any money that's coming into the area will then be spent within Blake. It's uh, an occasion for us to meet, mix, mingle, make a noise, celebrate what's good about Blaken and have some fun at the same time. Yeah, it's our aim to be heavily involved in all aspects of the community and almost giving them a voice at every opportunity we can in Blaken. The Pan of Football uh, has been running now for a number of years under the supervision of Sergeant Ian Wilson at Blaken and it came about on the basis we were suffering high levels of antisocial behaviour in the area. And actually the, uh, the process has flourished into something beyond our expectations really. We've seen a massive decrease in antisocial behaviour in Blake and so it's been a real, real success. Our mission is to place defibs in all the schools in Blaken and public buildings and a couple of outside sea pads. The idea came about because um, Although it's unrelated, it is. Uh, my granddad suffered a heart attack a few years ago and he had to wait a long time for an ambulance. And obviously, because of the way things are, if we have a defibrillator on site, it increases the chance of survival. Well, I was put, nominated for the Harold Tomlins Community Award, which I did win, and I'm very, very proud to accept that. Not as, you know, as an individual, but more so as a group of people that support me. You know, it's been an absolute credit to Blaken. We are the first area in Chester that has so many defibs per square mile. Blaken Festival is all that's best about Blaken because there's such a great community spirit. There's families, everyone's together, kids having a great time, lovely weather as well. And it just brings the whole community together. And one of the strongest parts, of, one of the strongest aspects of Blaken is that sense of community spirit. And here's everyone together today, enjoying all the different events and some of the best of uh, the talents of the people of Blaken as well. So this morning we did a huge parade with a lot of the year three and four children from the Blaken primary schools and a bit of a ragtime flash mob. And right now we're doing capoeira, which is a Brazilian art form which mixes dance, acrobatics, martial arts and music. Um, the capoeira group here are Cordão de Ouro Capoeira in Chester. So that's what they're doing here. They've done a couple of performances and some free taster classes. And then there'll be some other opportunities over the summer to get involved in capoeira at summer school and things like that. Blaken Festival is a celebration for us all, the people who work and live in the area. What we want to do here is try and show people all the good things that are happening, but it's also an opportunity to find out what's going on and if you want to get involved further, to talk to staff who are involved in the area and people who are providing community groups and community activities so that you can get more involved throughout the year and not just today. Me and uh, Richard and Ruth and Chester the Cat have been here in our van uh, and we do lots of mad events like this. I mean, we say mad, but I mean, the more fun the things are, the better it is. It's a family orientated day. We love doing this. This is the, uh, the second year I've done it personally, uh, although obviously the event's been going on for 21 years. So here's to the 22nd and coming back again and enjoying all the fun of the community, which is what it's all about, serving the community. All the videos that are taken each year on the festival are held on the Avenue Services website um, and these show people the vast variety of activities that go on at the festival and you can also find out lots of other information about what happens in Blaken.